are listening to Otter Space, Episode 6, Play is Universal. The clamshell spaceship sits quietly atop the transparent platform over the tranquil sea on the planet Aquaria. Kip, Cordy, Gorkle, and Bo rocket out of the platform skyward. Sentinels, robots which look like divers from the pre-scuba days, use jetpacks to grab and carry Kip, Cordy, Gorkle, and Bo further up into the sky. Per rule AL051175, your sentence is 30 solar spans in the vapor mines. The ends of enormous plasma tubes are geometrically laid out across the sky, each labeled with a planet name. Each of these lead to a planet. We're going to be living inside one of these tubes for the rest of our lives. All thanks to... Gorkle trails off as air gets thin. The sentinels lock brilliant collars onto them, which project plasma air bubbles around their heads. All thanks to Bo. Hey, Brill changed the rules. How about you, Gorkle? Legend. Back off of Gorkle. Oh, hey, look. This tube goes to Momoa. That's my home planet. Gorkle jerks his sentinel's head, leading him like a reluctant horse. Cordy leaps off her sentinel onto Gorkles. Follow us! No, we need a plan. Yeah, save Earth from getting squidnapped. Duh, let's go! That's a goal, not a plan. Bo and I aren't going without a plan. We already tried a plan, remember? You and your loophole lost, and now our planet is about to be enslaved. What? This is all your fault. You dragged me out of the bay. You pushed me off that bridge. You forced me onto their spaceship. <laughs> to find us cool new paw buddies. Who died off a bazillion years ago. So what? You guys aren't coming? We left home looking for new paw buddies. Cordy considers Gorkle. Kip looks at Bo. Maybe we found them. As each pair enters separate tubes, Kip and Cordy exchange a last look of regret. Inside the plasma tube to Momoa, Cordy and Gorkle keep the sentinels out and lock the door. Gorkle smashes the cover off of a computer panel and begins to type on it. Nice. We're going to be awesome paw buddies. Paw buddies? And together, we'll save Earth. Save Earth? That's the spirit. <laughs> a bottlenosed travel pod arrives. They get in and drive off. Can't this thing go any faster? Ah! As the pod zips through the tube, water vapors collect on the exterior, fogging up the view from inside. Inside another plasma tube, all kinds of alien prisoners are hard at work with sentinels standing guard. Kip and Bo whisper to each other. It's a simple plan, actually. A plan? I love it. See, you and I get each other. This is gonna work. How do you know? You haven't heard it yet? Our otter's psychic? No, I meant us, paw buddies. Psychic? You're hilarious, classic Bo. I'd love to hear your plans. Bo runs one of his four hands along the damp plasma tube. Yes. As vapors journey from the planet to Aquaria, droplets form. Question, when we sleep, which hand do I hold? Hand? Uh, sorry, later, continue. Bo uses a small laser to vaporize the moisture on his hand. Ooh, let me guess. We use the lasers to cut a hole and escape? No, we use them to fight off the robots and... We use the lasers to vaporize the water. We're free in 30 solar spans. That's not a plan. That's a prison sentence. Rule SD111377, prisoner shall not speak unless spoken to. Kip smiles, uses a laser to vaporize droplets, and waits for the sentinel to pass. I'm talking about an escape plan. Escape is a violation of SL stroke 042012. Well, which planet is at the end of this tube? Oh, so now you like Cordy's plan? SD111377. That wasn't a plan. That was a gut reaction. But now I've had a moment to assess and, well, we're not going to save Earth, stuck inside here. Prisoner shall not speak. The sentinel zaps Kip and Bo with lightning tentacles. Ow! Somewhere above the planet Momoa, 
The sunset fills a dusty sky. The end of a plasma tube opens. Gorkle and Cordy cough as they <coughs> stare out into the zero visibility conditions. Colossal Sea is right below us. Brill installed this tube right before I started my mission with... Uh, what's his name? Ready? Gorkle jumps, disappears into dust clouds. Cordy leaps. A short distance below the plasma tube, Gorkle lies face down on dry land. He lifts his head, looks around at what appears to be a rock quarry. Oh, I guess I should have looked before I... <laughs> Cordy lands on Gorkle's back and becomes buried in his fur. Ah! in here. Oh, bleh. Stay down. Gorkle shoves Cordy into his fur, gets to his feet. Other Momoans approach, all carrying shovels and pickaxes. Did you come from up there? They look up to the plasma tube 30 feet above them. Uh, who, me? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I've been uh, here the whole time. Cordy pops up. <gasps> I can't even. Ugh. Do you shower? The Momoans point their tools at her like weapons. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 I, I come in peace. <laughs> Shh. They'll lose interest in you soon. Yeah, after they've eaten me. <laughs> Ugh. Momoans don't eat other life forms. Momoans eat. Next time, guys. They toss their weapons indiscriminately and walk off. Lunch? Gotta be dinner time by now. Momoans do what we want when we want to do it. All right, this sounds like my kind of place. <laughs> Let's get breakfast then. I want a stack of pancakes this high, covered in butter. No, syrup, ooh, whipped cream, <gasps> cherries and chocolate chips, Oh! Cordy and Gorkle follow after the other Momoans. Sentinels arrive in the prison tube to distribute boring meals to Kip Bo and the other prisoners. Rule DJ 062715, all prisoners have five minutes to eat dinner. Ah, DJ stroke 062715, the tastiest rule. Kip uncovers a compartmentalized tray of beige shapes. Oh, what's this? An unlunchable? Rule MB121671, no complaints. Mm -hmm. What's there to complain about? Our days and nights are guided by rules. Everything is planned. Yeah, I guess so, but... Kip removes a water bottle from his rations. Watier, pamplemousse flavored? Yuck! Ugh. Rule JJ092967. Complainers go to bed hungry. The sentinel snatches Kip's rations back. On Momoa, Sentinels hand out dinner rations to the Momoans, who all push and shove and cut in line. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think I just thought of a plan to save Earth. Plan? See? Brill told us he needs the probe to lead him to Earth. We just gotta get it back first, and maybe give you a bath along the way. It won't work. Some water and a jug of shampoo, you'll smell as fresh as a flower. No. We can't leave Momoa. Gorkle points to a squad of sentinels on guard. Those guys? Meh. You took out a flying one all by yourself, and we got a whole army of you here. I don't know if you noticed, but Momoans don't make great soldiers. A Momoan dangles from a high cliff. He loses his grip. Uh... The Momoan has fallen flat on his face. He gets up none the worse. Uh... Inside the plasma tube, Bo busily vaporizes water droplets. Kip is depressed and not working. He bangs his tail against the tube, splashing water droplets off of the tube. The droplets float weightlessly. Kip vaporizes the floating droplets. I thought you were like me. All about the rules. This should be paradise. Kip lazily tail whacks the tube again and zaps the floating droplets with more style this time. Other prisoners take note of his method. What is that? This? I don't know. Uh, a game, I guess? Ah, game. And what are the rules of the game, Kip? Kip is in a hypnotic state of play. Zen. Rules? Rules led Brill right to Earth. No more rules, ever. But maybe we can still save Earth. Oh, we're gonna save it. 
Don't know how yet. But there won't be any rules or plans. It'll just flow. More and more prisoners vaporized with Kip's Zen method. Back on Momoa, Cordy stares at the plasma tubes in the sky. I need a plan. I only know one plan. Kip taught me. Surprise attack. Cordy nods and then smiles deviously. <laughs> <laughs>